sell her. I don't want to sell her either, but we need the money to buy food. What else could we sell? We must sell the cow. She's all we have. Okay, one dolly. Careful, Jack, be careful. Jack arrives home with a small baby. He looks very happy. Well done, Jack. How much did you get? We'll never be poor again. Wow, good old Dolly. Show me the money. Jack empties the bag into his mom's hand. What do you call this? The magic beans the man said we'll never be poor again. You foolish boy, you were tricked. Now we have no cow and no money. Jack's mother throws the beans out of the window when she runs out of the tears. Next morning, Jack's mom gets up. She sees the giant beanstalk in the yard. Jack, wake up! Look what you've done now! What? What is it? It's a, a horrid weed. It makes the whole house dark. It's not a horrid weed. It's magic. Don't you see? All I see is big, ugly plants. Let me see what's at the top. You take care, Jack. It goes all the way to the sky. Jack runs until he's gone through the club. He is in another world. He sees a castle. <laughs> Who is it? There's Jack knocked on the door. A giant opens up a huge door. He's so big he doesn't even see Jack. Who is it? There's no one here. Fee, fi, fo, fo. As for the one of the English one. He, a lot of people that are going to go and swing by break. Yikes! <laughs> Jack runs through the giant side and into the castle. He bumps into the giant's wife. Oh, how sweet! It's a tiny, tiny boy! I haven't seen one in years! Fee, fi, fo, fo. I don't know where an English man is. Where is he? Hurry, <laughs> he'll eat you. He's eating him up. He's eating him and tied in my closet. <laughs> she pushes him into the closet. Careful, Jack. Be careful. So when she went up, 
I picked up the hand and ran. Jack will never be Porky, so never go back up that beanstalk. Jack is home alone and bored. Just one more time. Jack climbs up the beanstalk and goes to the castle. He knocks at the door, the giant opens the door and does not see Jack. Jack runs through the door and bumps into the giant toy. You again, you're so cute, I might eat you quick. The giant's coming, hide under the table. Why? There's a human. <coughs> I know there's a human. You're not hiding, what are you? No, my dear, now calm down. How can I calm down? I know there's a human, but I can't find him. This is what drives hungry giants cr cr crazy. Sit down, let your magic heart play some music for you. That will help calm you down. Very well. The giant sits down. The heart in the corner of the room starts to play music all on its own. But I'm in a bad, bad mood, wife. Careful, Jack, be careful. Jack is back home with his mom. She's holding the golden heart. The beanstalk has been cut down and the giant is laying on the ground dead. If this giant wasn't <laughs> If this giant wasn't dead at my feet and this harp wasn't in my hand, I'd say you were lying. You should have seen me run. When the giant and his wife fell asleep, I grabbed the harp and ran. But he woke up and chased you and chased you down the beanstalk? Yes, I didn't think he could run that fast. So you cut down the beanstalk, then the giant fell all the way to, all the way down. Yes, are you proud of me? Well, you have been brave. I will never be poor again, but... But what? You were greedy. You kept going back when we didn't need it. But it was fun. I'm bored here. I know, Jack. That's why I found you a job. What? A job? Where? The man who sold you the magic beans told me about it. He's a nice man. In fact, he's taking me to dinner tonight. Told you about what? Where will I work? You are going to work at a nursing home. A nursing home for sick old giants. You must be kidding!